Today we bid adieu to Herman King. Bye, Herman. Um, I guess he's going to start a website or, I don't know, try to get his radio job back. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what he's going to do. I'm sure he's going to sell some books. But um, he had to suspend his campaign today. And he opened his campaign headquarters today at the exact same time. But, man, did they drag out this announcement. It was They started covering it this morning at, on CNN at, like, 11 o'clock. They said that they thought he was going to talk at, like, 11.30. And then nothing happened, 12 o'clock, maybe, 12.30, maybe, 1 o'clock, maybe. Finally comes out at 1.30. <clears throat> he gives a long speech about how it's the media's fault that he's hurt his family and um, his wife. And I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry that his wife and his family got hurt, but Herman Cain is the one who did what he did. And if, if his behavior hurt his wife or his family, he did it. Um, I don't know if he and his wife had some sort of agreement. I, I have no idea, and nor should I. It's not my business. But I think when you get asked a direct question, um, when an allegation comes forward and you, you're, you're asked a question and you lie, you obviously lie. And... I think that that says a lot. You know what I mean? Like, we've judged a lot of politicians by that kind of a standard. Um, and what we know for sure is that he is alleged to have sexually harassed several women, and at least two of them were paid off by the Restaurant Association lobbying group. <clears throat> and we also know there's another woman who's made an allegation that it was a borderline sexual assault. It's just an allegation. I have no idea. But we're starting to see a little pattern. And now we have a woman that came forward and said that she's known him for 13 years and he supported her in cash monthly and flown her into all of his wherever he travels, traveled with the Restaurant Lobbying Association. And what we know for sure, because he has confirmed, is that he did meet her where she said that they met. He has known her for 13 years. He has supported her financially in cash unbeknownst to his wife. And so it begs the question, why? You know, if there wasn't, why would someone who you meet at some sort of political conference or business conference, would you end up supporting for 13 years monthly in cash unbeknownst to your wife for no reason? Um, and so I think that I don't really care what he did. I don't care. It's his, it's, it's his business. But I think when you get confronted with an ugly truth, you should probably just go ahead and cop to it, um, which is why I, I I suspect a lot of people lost respect for him, and he was down to 8%, and I'm, I'm sure he drug out this campaign announcement because they were still getting a few donations, so, although I can't imagine he would do that. Um, but I would like for that question to be asked. You know, why were you supporting this woman? You, you admitted to doing that. Why were you doing that? And nobody's asked it. Nobody's going to answer it. But I think it would be very telling if someone would ask it. But anyway, he suspended his campaign, and he's gone. He started, he's starting a website, which if you go to the website, it just says, give me your email address, and we'll let you know when it's going. So I'm not going to hold my breath. But Howard Kurtz, I think, said it best. He said um, that he is kind of overestimating his ability to get media attention um, after he's no longer this novelty presidential candidate. And, and he seriously, he quoted the Pokemon song. I mean, Rachel Maddow has been making fun and saying this is some sort of art project because he's done all these weird things and he, he quoted a Pokemon song during debate and he did it again. He's like, I don't know who originally authored it. Well, I think we can find out. I'm sure someone will, but I think it was from the Pokemon song. But um, So he was just kind of a weird dude, but he was interesting to watch. Um, I'm still, you know, sort of holding out hope for a, a third party ticket. Um, maybe a, a, a Kane Palin or or Perry Palin, or Kane Perry, I think it would just be fascinating. Maybe Newt, maybe Newt Perry, I don't know, because you know it's going to be wrong. Anyway, there's going to be another debate on the 27th, and I'm very excited because Trump is going to moderate it. I, I couldn't have ordered anything more entertaining. I really couldn't. It's just going to be amazing. I'm going to be out of town, but I'm going to make sure I watch that. Um, I hope everybody else does too. And I hope you have a good week.